Hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be painting a watercolour portrait of Olivia Rodrigo. I actually did this in, I think it was back in September I did this, but I never got around to posting it. So here I am, posting it now. <laughs> um, so I started out with drawing here. I think the picture I used, I might be wrong, but I think it's from the Met Gala, I think. Um, I think when she had that, well, maybe it's not actually, I don't know, I thought it was the Met Gala, but now I'm thinking about it, I don't think it was, so ignore me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I found the reference picture on Pinterest and I decided to draw it. Pinterest is such a good resource for reference photos. Um, I love finding portraits on there to just draw, I think it's really good practice as well. So, this drawing didn't take me very long to do, to be honest, it only took me about maybe like 15 minutes, which is very good for me. Drawings usually take me so long, like, I'll set out a bit of time and think, right, I'm going to draw this and start painting, and then I only ever get the drawing done, because it just takes me so long. Uh, but I do think that having a good solid drawing is... A really good foundation because I don't ever just want to like figure it out later on um like that might work for some people but it just never worked for me <laughs> so yeah as you can see now I'm doing the lips the lips I had a process with these lips okay I've never been very good at drawing lips that's always been my biggest sort of bugbear in drawings is I can never make the lips look good they always just look fake um so they still do look a bit dodgy in this However, in the finished thing, they look good. I managed to save it. I'm not sure how, but I did. And I am happy with how they look. Um, I'm definitely a perfectionist, especially with art. If there's like one little thing off with my painting, I just notice it and it drives me mad. And I just always think like, that's just so annoying. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with this piece though. <laughs> I always get this like fear of ruining a good drawing because I think with portraits it's so hit and miss whether a drawing looks good so if I sit down to draw somebody and then it doesn't look good or I can't really capture their likeness it really puts me off trying again because I just I find it really intimidating so whenever I get a good drawing like that drawing that I think that looks so good I think it's such a good likeness of Olivia Rodrigo However, I was so scared to stop this painting. Maybe, not, maybe scared isn't the right word. I was just apprehensive because I was trying a new method and I really didn't want to ruin it because, you know, it's never a good feeling when you do art and you're not happy with it. Um, but I do think it's very necessary in order to move on and in order to grow, you know. You, you know, you can, in order to make a perfect piece, you've got to make a hundred imperfect pieces. Um, but then also, I feel like perfect doesn't exist with art, <laughs> you know, like, someone could look at this and think, mm, that's not great. I look at it and I love it and I think it's, you know, one of the best portraits I've done so far, I would say. <laughs> I'm, like, really pleased with this portrait. I'm talking it up a lot. When you see it, you're going to have to think it's good, otherwise. <laughs> Imagine if you see it and you're like, mm, that's not great, Emma. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I would just get a bit fearful to start painting. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the process that I'm doing. So what I'm doing is rather than mixing individual colours such as like mixing a peach shade and then mixing like a brown shade, I've just been using the colours like exactly from my palette. So I started out with pink and then I added some yellow and then I added a little bit more pink I think and now I'm going to go in with some blue. And this method, <laughs> I think you can see here when you put the when I put the blue on, it just looks a little bit. Um, it's just a bit. I don't know. It's very much a trust the process kind of thing. It does end up looking really great. And something I do, I do it in a min, is I add the brown, and I think the brown really brings it together. Um, and then I did a brown outline. And that really brought it together. That really made me feel really happy with it. Um, so yeah, just you just gotta keep persevering. I think with paintings like that, like yellow I added now, that was so dark, <laughs> but it does look good in the men because Olivia Rodrigo, she's got quite like tan skin, so I need to have it look like I wanted that to be like a, like a 
like I wanted her skin tone to be very like I don't know like deep is that the right word like rich rather than looking really pale and pasty because I've just taken one wash of like a tan colour you know I think building up in layers really helps the painting to it gives it more depth you know what I mean so it has been a while since I uploaded <laughs> um I think it's been like over a year I was so busy with my final year of uni um and I graduated last year no not last year this year we're still in 2023 but yeah I graduated in July and yeah so now I'm done with uni and it's wild because I literally remember speaking in one of my videos and saying like I don't know what I'm doing for my final year project and I feel quite nervous about it and now it's all done and it just feels kind of I don't know kind of weird that it's all done um and you know everything works out in the end so for my final year project I ended up doing a stop motion film which was so fun I made everything myself I made the set I made my characters um edited it all together myself obviously um and yeah I ended up getting a first for it which I was really pleased with and I got this like award so very happy with that I was very pleased with how it turned out and stop motion animation is so fun I feel like when I was reading about it I was so intimidated because I was reading all these things about like how many frames per second you should do to make it look like smooth and you know like all these advice that, all this advice that people were giving me and then in the end when I did my piece I ended up slowing it down a lot so it ended up being about like eight nine minutes long um because I just liked the look I didn't think it looked like laggy I just I really liked it maybe I'll have to like do a video talking a bit about how I made it because when I was looking online at advice on how to make um little like dolls for stop motion I couldn't find like anything that I thought was applicable to me but yeah when I was looking online I couldn't really find any kind of entry level tutorials a lot of them were all about using more specialist materials and more expensive materials and I just kind of made do with what I had and I'm so pleased with how my doll turned out um but yeah uni's done it's so weird um so yeah so here you can see more of the finished piece so here I am starting the hair you can, you can see as I added that brown into the face and the brown outline it really just came to life um yeah I'm really happy with how it's looking and then same again for the hair obviously I, I, I think I just used one color for the hair it was just one shade of brown um but I just like made sure to do lots of little layers to really build up that color anyway she's had a new album out since <laughs> I um did this I think I did this before Guts came out I'm not sure it might have been after but I absolutely love Guts like one of my favorite albums um I think it's so great my favorites are Love is Embarrassing Get Him Back and what was the other one I liked oh Pretty Isn't Pretty I love that one um but you know I do like them all <laughs> but yeah those are the three that I really love um yeah also something else I managed to do I got tickets for Guts on tour which I'm so excited about um I'm going next year with my sister and my brother-in-law and that's gonna be really fun so yeah it was chaotic getting tickets though I had like O2 pre-sale but when I went on it just wouldn't take my code it wouldn't let me put a code in like the thing just wouldn't load um so I ended up wasting a lot of time waiting and getting on different browsers and things and I didn't want it to kick me out and so I didn't end up getting tickets on pre-sale day but another sale opened up so I managed to get them so yeah I was really happy with that I've also got tickets slightly unrelated but I think related for the Eras tour which I'm so excited about <laughs> because yeah it's just gonna be so fun um yeah I do need to start planning my outfit though when I first got tickets in July I really was like into the planning and it's been a little while now and I just I really need to actually think about what I'm gonna wear because um yeah it's gonna come around really soon also I'm so excited to go see the ballad of songbird and snakes which Olivia's made a song for which I love can't catch me now 
such a good song and here's the thing i haven't even read the book yet i started reading the book in august not august in october and then i decided that i would want to save it because i always find with books i'm always really disappointed when i see the film because obviously this gets so much more detail in a book so i decided to leave the book until i've seen the film but i'm just so tempted to read it like i really want to know what happened so i'm so excited to go see that film and you can see then i slowed down the process a bit for the hair because i wanted to show how i did it because i think it looked really cool basically i just um used a really thin brush and just kind of like a little bit of water with my watercolour to just build up those layers and I really like how it looks, I think it looks really effective. Ooh. Also as you can see the lips are looking a lot better now. <laughs> I just kind of played around with them. I think it is just something that's just more difficult and to me it's lips. I can never draw lips. Yeah, and then here I wanted to slow down how I did the eyelashes because I was really pleased with how it's all looking. Um, yeah, I don't think I used black at all. I think I only used brown. I just laid it on like several layers. And then here are the lips. <laughs> Once again, looking a lot better. So, yeah, I was really pleased with this painting. And I'm excited to post this video. So here I am. I'm just going to sign it now. I love signing my paintings and also putting the date on it so I can remember when I did it. Um, and yeah, I didn't do a background. I didn't think it needed a background. And I do think sometimes it just kind of messes with the finish if I do that. But yeah. So thank you very much for watching. Here is the finished painting. I'm so pleased with it. I'm so pleased with how it came out. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I am going to try to post more frequently because I do love making videos. I just, like I said, I'm a perfectionist and I just get very in my head. But yeah, thank you very much for watching.